My name is Debbie Mandrosina with the Infrastructure Investment Division. We are going to go over the funding portion of your SmartScale application. So when you're in the edit mode of your application, you go to the very last pearl called Delivery and Funding. And in order to fill out the information that is on this portion, you would need to also go to our public site for the six-year improvement plan to look up the information that's on your project regarding the funding. So I'm going to use an example that was put in for last year for funding. You enter in your UPC there, your project will come up below, you click on that. And here you can see the funds that are currently on your project in the current six-year plan. So this one has local funds, revenue sharing for a total of $5,816,000. And that's currently what would be in the six-year improvement plan or SIP. So in your application, you should already know the information at the top and fill it out. And what I'm going to be going over begins right here where you fill in your project UPC. And then you would put in the amount that you're going to be requesting. Now currently on the project there's $5,816,000. But let's say for example that the cost of your project is going to increase by $1,394,000. And you want to use smart scale funding to backfill that cost increase on your project. And that's why you're putting in your application. So you would tell us here in this portion that the project costing estimate is increasing to one by $1,394,000 plan to use smart scale funding to fully fund project. You would enter in the phase information here, but where you would actually need to know the six-year plan amounts would be down here where it says project funding sources. So back again in the six-year plan, you have currently $5,816,000 in the SIP or six-year improvement plan. So you would enter that here in the SIP allocations field. And you want to increase or request the increase amount for your project, which is $1,394,000. And you would enter that there. You have no other anticipated committed funding amount, so you would just leave those blank. And the field over here shows the total proposed project funding, which is automatically populated by the values that you entered here. And you would click on Save Application. And there you have input the amount that you're requesting from the Smart Skill Program, and above you would enter it in the comments why you're requesting that amount. So for the second example, I'm going to and say you want to remove your local project contributions that are currently in the SIP if you get the smart scale funding and so you want to apply for the project cost increase of $1,394,000 but you also want to include that you're going to remove your local project contributions of $106,000 here so in the application you would reflect that by saying the project cost estimate is increasing by $1,394,000 you plan to remove $106,000 and you plan to let's just say request total of $1,500,000 which is the $1,394,000 plus the $106,000 that you are re removing from the project of local contribution. So you would also reflect that here you plan to remove the $106,000 in local contribution funds. So this gives us an idea of why you, the project is fully funded and why there is a cost increase and also you plan to remove the 106 And you would reflect that down here in the SIP allocations by deducting the amount that you plan to remove, which is going to be 
the $5,816,000 minus the 106000 of the local contribution, for, and that's going to be reflected in the SIP allocation here, for a total of $5,710,000. And this means that you are now requesting a total of $1,500,000. No co-admitted funds, so you don't need to enter anything here. And your total amount is still reflected here for the project estimate. And you would click on Save Application. Now for the final example, we're going to go ahead and utilize and tell you what to do if you have other committed funds on the project. So. What we're going to do, you have a current six-year plan here of the $5,816,000. You're still going to remove the $106,000 here. You're still going to have a project increase of the $1,394,000. And for the committed funds, let's say that you are going to be, you want to reduce the amount of the smart scale request and you plan on getting other committed funds from another program. And for this example, we're going to say it's from the CMAC program. So you would reflect it first by telling us that you plan to do that. You plan to request, let's say for example, you're going to end up, you're going to reduce the amount by $750,000 because you're going to request the same amount from the CMAC. You would also put that here as well to receive $750,000 in CMAC funding. Plan to request $750,000 in smart scale funding to fully fund project. And so for the committed funds, you would go ahead and reduce the amount here of smart scale by the $750,000. You would put the amount of committed funds, and you would still leave the amount because you're taking out the 106,000 of local contributions. So you're only going to reflect the 5,710,000, and then you're going to put the committed funds amount here, and you would put a description. CMAC funding anticipated on project. And it had popped up to remind me that you need to attach supporting documents. And this is where you would put the supporting documents. So you would choose File. And you would put in your letter of committed funding. You would put in a description. The type would be at the bottom here for other committed funds. You would upload the document here. and you would click save.